Well, look what we got here. December 10th, 2010. I come home today to find this package. Now, what's inside this package? If you read the title of this video, you probably already know. It's the CR48 Chrome OS laptop. Sent straight from Google with the pilot program absolutely free. I'm going to put this laptop through its paces. I'm going to use it every day and uh, give feedback basically. This is going to be so cool. This is the first time I've done any anything like this. I've been a day one adopter of the G1. I've been a day one adopter of the Nexus One. I've been a day one adopter of the Google TV. And now I can say I'm almost a day one adopter of Chrome OS. I think they started uh, shipping these things out uh, maybe a day or so ago. So I can't complain. I'm super happy, super psyched about this. So let's get started on opening this thing up. Now, if you don't know anything about this laptop, it's all black. It's not branded. It has no spinning discs in it, no hard drive, no optical media. It's all flash-based and it's uh, different than what you know. It's all cloud-based. So we've got a box within a box here. So let's get this box out of the way. Now the first thing you'll see here is a caution sticker about the lithium-ion battery. So you definitely know what this is. On the top of it, it's got a nice little carrying case or carrying handle. And the front of it is a lot of interesting things here. We've got a mouse, we got gears, it's all numbered. It's probably got to have some sort of meaning. Very, very cool. I'm super stoked about this. Side of the package just has a recycle symbol and some other whatnot down there. Bottom of the package, I can't believe I'm showing you all the parts of this package here. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about this. So let's open this part up here. Slice that open. And let's open it up for the first time. Make sure I have a good angle on this. All right, here we go. First thing you'll see in the box, let me turn it this way, is an instruction card here. Basically says, learn the controls. It says you got a microphone up here, a camera up there like a normal laptop, your screen, your keyboard, which uh, is a little different than other keyboards. You have a giant touchpad here, which I think is a click pad. It's got speakers, and then here are all the buttons on the top and explains what they do. You've got a back button, a forward button, because again, remember, Chrome OS is basically just a browser, so a back and a forward will be, become very, very much in handy. You have a reload button, so there's actually physical buttons as there are uh, regular buttons on a browser, on the top of the browser, which is cool. Uh, you have a full screen button, a next tab button, screen brightness controls, a mute button, volume controls, and a power button. And I'll actually show you the actual buttons of that in a second. I'm just going over the card here. And it explains how you can get on the web here on the back of the card. So that's very cool. It has a card here that says, if you crack this open, you'd find Intel. Very cool. All right, here it is right here. I'm going to get to that in a second. Put that to the side. Actually, let's just take the things off. It's a nice little size. Again, it's a 12 inch screen on here, so it's really portable and cool, but we'll take that out of the package in just one second. We're going to explore the rest of the, the packaging here. Now down here is the battery, the lithium ion battery. That's probably pretty cold right about now because it's been sitting outside all day and I think we're uh, below freezing out there. Okay, down here is just some safety notices and whatnot. So we'll keep that with the documentation. You have some other packaging here. And you have your cord and adapter right here. Okay? So that is what you get inside the box here. 
be a part of the pilot program. Actual retail uh, Chrome OS notebooks should go on sale in 2011. And from what I hear, it's sometime mid-2011. So if you're interested, I suggest you take a look at my videos and see what I think of this device. And then, uh, you know, judge for yourself if it's right for you. For me, I think it's a great, a great idea. Cloud-based computing has its, its places. I mean, I know I have a lot of music and uh, it's very important that I do have a hard drive to keep things on. But for my basic everyday computing, really 90% of what I do is on the web. Other than maybe, you know, editing these videos, 90% um, of what I do is on the web. So a device like this has its place and it's very cool. So we're going to open up, open up this packaging. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit so we get a tighter view of this since we don't have a big box anymore. And let's do this. Now the first thing we got here is the lithium ion battery. And it's very thin here. It's uh, supposedly an eight hour battery. So that is gonna be very nice to have. because so I'm gonna take this out on the road with me. Now the laptop itself, like I said, is not branded. And let's just get it out of the packaging here. <clears throat> and it has a uh, rubberized kind of feel to it. A matte finish. Very sleek. It's been referred to as like a stealth fighter. So that's cool. Now here where the battery is, where the battery goes in, there's actually some fingerprints in there, which is funny. Maybe they're mine, I don't know. But... Um, Anyway, there's a slot here for a SIM card, from what I understand, and um, I think it already has Verizon uh, wireless hard-baked into the machine itself, but I guess if you go international, you would put your, your SIM card there. All right, I'm going to put my battery in now, and just match up the contacts, and slide it in here. Wait a second, it goes in this way. And snap it in. Now there's a little lever here. If you want to get the battery out, you just push it to the side. All right, now the device itself has a kind of rubberized feel to it, and it's a matte black. Some people have referred to it like a stealth fighter. Um, this is the top of it. It's not branded. This is the bottom of it, as we showed you when we put the battery in. Uh, the front of it, basically you just have your, you know, where you lift it off. The back of it has your hinge. Now the right side has, um, I'm assuming this is a speaker here, and then this is an SD card slot, which you just uh, push in, I assume. Yeah, you just push in to take out the blank, and then you put your SD card in there, like a lot of laptops have. And then you have what I assume to be a headphone jack, a USB uh, port, and your where you plug it in, right here. Okay. The left side of it has, again, what I assume to be a speaker here. you got a vent here and your monitor port there. So why don't we get all this plastic out of the way here and open this up for the very first time and see what happens. All right, it's booting into Chrome already. I didn't do anything with it. I didn't press any power buttons or anything like that. And it goes to a Let's Get Started page. I'm gonna do that in a second. I'm just gonna go over the, the keyboard with you right now and just show you what the differences are. Now, the touchpad seems to be really nice and sensitive and you actually click the pad uh, like you would have with, uh, with uh, one of the modern day MacBook computers. The keyboard itself, as I showed you before on the, on the card when I opened it, you have a lot of different buttons up here. You don't have any of the uh, function buttons. You just have an escape button, a back button, forward button, reload button, a full screen button, a, um, what is this, a multiple windows button? Check that again. Oh, that's a next tab button. 
Then you have your brightness controls, your mute, your volume down, your volume up, and then your power button there. Now the keyboard itself, they, they took the caps lock key off of this. Uh, reason being is because they said they were trying to avoid people yelling with their, with their comments, which is kind of funny. Um, but they replaced it with a search button right here. Now, going in line with no caps, all of the letters on the keyboard are all in lowercase. So uh, there are no even uppercase on the keys themselves. So um, what I'm going to do is go through this process of uh, starting this up and I'll actually take you through it in my next video.